Why is it so hard to tell the truth? That is the topic of today's video. My name is Craig Meister. I'm a college admissions coach. You can learn more about me and how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire college admissions process on my website, which is collegemeister.com. I'm a huge fan of Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. However, I am not such a great fan of the latest move by Carnegie Mellon to just, just come out and be definitive with a statement related to uh, testing and your expectations for testing for students in the high school class of 2025 or later. Carnegie Mellon has made the announcement on its website in spring of 2024 that it is going to remain test optional for students who apply during the 2024-2025 admission cycle, which is fine. They have every right to decide to be test optional or test required or test free or whatever the heck they want to be over at Carnegie Mellon. However, it doesn't stop there. There's fine print. It's and it's not so simple for many students to really get their head around why, what could I is this applying to me? Is this not applying to me? What's best for me? Is it gonna be a different scenario for me if I'm from this state or this sex or this demographic? And it's really upsetting for students who want clarity and as I've mentioned in previous videos, who believe that sunlight is the best disinfectant and that colleges should just simply be transparent with them about their expectations as opposed to leading them on and telling them tales and confusing things. So this is officially what Carnegie Mellon's website says as of April 2024, quote, quote, again, this is on their website. I'll include the link below this video. Carnegie Mellon is test optional for fall 2025 undergraduate applicants, which means the submission of SAT or ACT results is not required. However, School of Computer Science applicants are strongly encouraged to submit either an SAT or ACT score, including the math subscore. End quote. Now, it does go on, but ultimately, that's the headline. And next to that statement is another quote. Quote, if you choose to submit scores, note that we, are, we, we allow super scoring of SAT results, but we are unable to accept super scored results from the ACT. You know, that's interesting, and a lot of colleges still have that policy. Um, but below where it shares more information, it doesn't really clarify why what should make a student decide to submit his or her scores for the computer science program versus not. If it's really that important, why is it not required versus still optional but strongly encouraged for computer science? What if this means I'm not applying to computer science but another program? Should I still submit my scores? It seems like Carnegie Mellon's becoming more score-centric again. Let me cut through this for you as your, your handy YouTube guide uh, today. You've fallen upon this video and you want clarity from someone to help you. Now, there is no definitive answer. <laughs> I hate to tell you I'm not God. Um, but what I will say is that if you are applying to Carnegie Mellon, as I've told all my students applying to Carnegie Mellon in recent years, you should try to have the best test scores possible and submit them. If you are applying to computer science in fall 2024 or later, assume that test scores are required. If you are one of the lucky ones who can get into the computer science program without test scores, more power to you. But don't assume that's going to happen. What would qualify you to be one of the lucky ones that doesn't have to submit his or her scores to earn an admission letter from the computer science program at Carnegie Mellon? Well, that, my friend, is a trade secret uh, that only those internally at Carnegie Mellon really can share with you with authority. But I suspect it's a combination of a student in some sort of exceptional circumstance uh, where maybe a test wasn't uh, easily available to maybe he or she's in a city in Brazil and there is no SAT offered within 400 miles, but the student is exemplary in the classroom and has done amazing computer science things in his extracurricular or her extracurricular life. And the, the school fully supports the student. The grades are great. The letters of recommendations will be great. And the student has an amazing TOEFL score or DET score, Duolingo test or IELTS score. And everything else is is clean and pretty and beautiful. And, you know, maybe in that scenario, or maybe it's a scenario where they need one more person of some unrepresented minority and they're willing to look the other way. Or maybe they just 
really don't have enough girls this year, so they're willing to look the other way for one girl from Alabama or Arkansas or something. There is no way to know. So why waste our time worrying? What's upsetting, again, is that Carnegie Mellon just can't have standard expectations for all applicants. And I really want to make very clear, I'm not picking on Carnegie Mellon here alone. Carnegie Mellon is actually hedging toward trying to have standards objectively, again, beyond just looking at grades, which, of course, are incredibly unstandardized between high schools. SAT, ACT scores, even English language test scores, these are at least objective standardized measures. They may not be your favorite measures, but they are relatively equivalent when taken across the world. So I actually compliment Carnegie Mellon for indicating that testing is really important for its most in-demand program. And students definitely should get the message from that statement that submitting scores, and particularly high scores, would be very wise. And it looks like the winds are blowing that ultimately maybe Carnegie Mellon will become test required again, but they clearly don't want to be test required either departmentally or fully at this point for other reasons that we can't get into in this video. So I would simply say that you don't control what you don't control as a student or parent. As a student, you can sure as heck control how much time you put into test prep. And I strongly believe that if you're willing to learn for the first time or relearn content and practice a lot of with practice tests, you can increase your scores. And of course, if you have a good tutor who can give you other tips and tricks, you can get maybe even better scores. Uh, is it fully gameable? No, because ultimately you only know so much and it's the least gameable part, as I've often said in these videos, of the admissions process. Everything else is much more open to gameability or improving your uh, your airbrushedness, if you will. You know, you can definitely airbrush away issues almost everywhere else in the application much more easily than you can test scores that are not beautiful. So I think it's wonderful that Carnegie Mellon is looking at test scores again seriously and stating such. I mean, they never stopped from the bulk of applicants, but they're at least indicating here that unlike the 2023-2024 admission cycle, during the 2024-2025 admission cycle, the competition now is such where they they don't need to play fast and loose with the fact that they're really not test optional anymore with, with uh, computer science. Why should they be? Why should they be if they want the best program and the best students in that program? Why should they be test optional? Uh, they should have every data point at their disposal to, to compo compose a class that they want to compose. But they're basically saying that for some reason, they're not going to go test required yet because they still want to have the artistic license to curate the college entering class in computer science that they want. And it shouldn't have to be determinative if you don't have a test score that either they don't like or if you don't have a test score that they either like, or if you just don't have a test score you want to submit at all. So they're going to keep open the door that you can apply test optionally, but apply with test scores if you can, and ideally get high 1500s on the SAT, or 35, or 36, or 34 maybe on the on the ACT if you're going to be a serious applicant for Carnegie Mellon's very competitive computer science program. Until next time, my name is Craig Meister. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or both or tell your family and friends about it. That would be lovely as well. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire college admissions process or maybe just for a part of it, maybe you have questions about whether you should submit your scores to particular colleges on your list and you are about to decide and you want to meet with me for a strategy session, you can do that too. You can just meet with me for very targeted or laser support or you can work with me throughout the entire college admissions process for comprehensive support. You can learn more about how you can do both on my website, which is collegemeister.com. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and most importantly, stay stress-free throughout the entire college admissions process.